God knew the pace that I needed to go at to be graced for what he called me to because I had learned from this moment the value of the pace of grace. Hello believers, welcome to the Gospel Central. And so today we're going to be looking at something that is very important for all of us, a lot of us, especially in this time where people have become very distraught, very discouraged. Um, it seems like God is not working. A lot of people are hoping for a miracle of some sort. And it seems that God is not the same God of old, the same God who was able to split the Red Sea and cause you know, limbs to grow out and things to happen. And it looks like God is not the same anymore. But I'm here to tell you that testimonies are happening. You know, the Bible says, how would they know except someone comes to tell them? And so we've come to tell you today that testimonies are happening. We're using Pastor Mike Todd's testimony as a point of contact, as a point of reference to show that God still works even today, even in the 21st century, the Bible says, and they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimonies. The testimonies will help you to stand even when things feel like they're falling apart. And so without wasting too much time, let's cue the intro. So Pastor Mike Todd, as most of you know, is uh, is the pastor of Transformation Church, the head pastor of, Ch of Transformation Church, but he wasn't always there and just as recently as 2015, 2016, his church was not more than 1,000 people. It wasn't up to 1,000 people, but now on, on YouTube, you can see them reaching like 800, 900,000 subscribers. But how did he get there? What is his testimony? How did God bring him there? So that's what we're going to be looking at today. So stay tuned to see how God has worked with Michael Todd. Here we go. What culture is telling us to do is strive, S-T-R-I-V-E. Use all your effort and energy. Use all your networking. Smooth your way to the top. And God says, hey, promotion comes from me. And when we made that decision to cut back in 2017, it wasn't with some promise on the line. It wasn't with like, if you do this, then I'm going to do this. God was challenging my heart. It was almost like he was saying, I just want to know that you trust me and that you'll obey me no matter what I tell you to do. In 2017, August, I preached a sermon series called Relationship Goals. And Relationship Goals did the same thing as every other sermon that I did. The 50 to 100 people with my mom and her group wow. watched it and that was it. Yep. December, God said for me to do less, stride. And I'm sitting there twiddling my thumbs, December 22nd, 23rd, a young lady on Twitter, and I didn't even have a Twitter at the time, um, she posted a two minute clip of relationship goals that we had done a few months earlier and two million people watched it in 48 hours. <laughs> and wow. in that moment, I still didn't know what was happening. Me and my wife, I remember we're at PF Chang's <laughs> like eating and I'm getting 10,000 Instagram followers a day. And I'm like, what is going on? And Black Panther had just came out. And so I thought they <laughs> thought I was Michael B. Jordan or somebody like that. But I mean, it's just all of these different things. It's because we didn't even have all of the technical things you needed to be a professional ministry. We didn't have a working website. And all we had when these people were like, I want to see this whole message. I want to know what happened. All we had when they searched in Google, Michael Todd relationship goals, all that came up was YouTube and all the videos for two and a half years that we had put on YouTube. And those they, cameras that those cameras God. that God told me to buy. <laughs> that those people that, that the people the walked page. away from us. <laughs> with. And at that watching. moment, wow. at that moment, God took my obedience step almost three years earlier and used it as the catalyst for getting this message to the world. Mm -hmm. And people begin to watch relationship goals and binge watch it like Netflix. There's eight parts to it. And we went from 1,800 YouTube subscribers to like 200,000 in 60 days. And things started happening and people started calling. And when I was in my 21 days of prayer and fasting, because um, that just happened um, at that moment, I was praying. God said, take two engagements a month this year. And I said, two engagements a month? I said, last year I only had four people ask me to come speak anywhere. 
God knew the pace that I needed to go at, to be graced for what he called me to. And within about six months, 1,800 um, speaking engagements requests came in from all over the world. And we ended that year doing less than 12 engagements because I had learned from this moment the value of the pace of grace. Wow, like, it's so amazing how God can change your life in ways you never even imagined. It's so amazing the way just one instruction can change you and um, if you're looking for a testimony this is the way to get it god said if you are willing and obedient you shall eat the fruit of the land willingness and obedience are the prerequisites that god has demanded from us so from a testimony like this from um pastor mike todd the way he he grew in in grace the, as he says, he found the pace of grace, the way he grew from grace to grace, from glory to glory, to what Transformation Church is today. It's only a miracle. I don't know if you're looking for a miracle from God. I just want to tell you that God still works miracles today. It may seem as if he's not answering you. It may seem as if he's nowhere to be found. But the truth is that if you can adhere to the things that God has told you to do, you might just be in the middle of a storm. You might just be in the middle of a situation that seems like there is no way to come out of it. There is nothing you can do about it, basically. But then when you adhere to what God has told you to do, it won't take time. It won't take long. You'll be able to see your your breakthrough you would see your miracle you would see uh, an open door for you the bible says that though the vision may tarry wait for it it will not tarry because when you wait upon the lord your strength is continuously renewed testimonies happen and at this juncture i just want to say if you haven't subscribed to this channel please subscribe to the channel and let's come together and really talk about the goodness of God and the things that God is really doing for his people. And if you have a testimony, something you think can inspire people, something you think can cause people's faith to be stirred, because we really need it right now, especially in our time where despair and, and depression has become the order of the day. And so we really need testimonies to spur people's faith so that they can resist the devil and overcome him so please comment your testimonies in the comment box and i pray that it inspires someone the testimonies are not for me but for fellow believers let us all grow in faith let us all come together and help each other to grow in our walk with god and to grow from glory to glory with jesus and i guess that's it for today's video i'll catch you up in the next one